Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to Dad Be Hustling. My name is John, and today we're going to be talking about a very first for me on Poshmark. Check this out. Thank you guys so very much for coming by. Freddie's going to come by and say hello. You guys know Freddie. You've seen him in a lot of my other videos before, and he's saying hi. But I want to talk about a very first for me. It was an awesome sale. <laughs> it was an awesome sale I had over the weekend on my Poshmark platform. And if you're just now coming across my channel and you've never seen any of my videos before, I am a father of two young boys and I make a side hustle, some side income by sourcing goods through thrift stores and Goodwills and uh, wherever else that I can find on yard sales. And I sell these goods on Poshmark and eBay and Mercari. So if you like videos like that, you know, please make sure that you drop a like, hit a subscribe button, and this is the kind of content you're going to get. So back to the video, I, I, I did a bundle sale for the very first time on Poshmark. I've never done that before. I have to ship these goods out, so I wanted to talk about it before. And if you have done that bundle sale before, please make sure you leave me a comment below so that I can network with you and learn how to, how to make more bundles like that because it was awesome to get. So it was late Friday night. And I kept joining parties. I just now learned how to do that. I, I didn't know how. I kept seeing parties starting on my app. I've never done a party before. And then um, I saw a Michael Kors party starting and I had a, a Michael Kors, I have a really cool Michael Kors vintage dress, new with tags, made in Italy. It was like originally a 300, almost a $400 um, dress from Neiman Marcus. And I uh, have it you know, still with tags and I have it for sale in my closet. So I said, look, I'll, I'll sell this and this. I'll see if I can share it to the, the Michael Kors party. And I did. Um, I didn't sell the dress. However, I think the person that liked that dress came into my store or into my closet from, uh, from that particular segue, that posh party. And that person bundled, went through my, all my listings and they picked out four. And oddly enough, most of my stuff in my closet is guy stuff, you know, that's kind of where I don't really know the women market that very well. So if you're looking for a channel that talks about women clothing, I'm not your guy. But if you like cool videos, I am your guy. But anyway, stay tuned and I will talk to you more about that kind of stuff coming up. But I wanted to show you briefly, really quickly, the kind of stuff that they picked out. Now, recently I, I, I took a, I had a, a friend of mine give me a lot of, um, of clothing from an estate sale that person um, no longer had these clothes no, no longer needed these clothes so they just I mean I'm talking about two big boxes just full of clothes and I kind of went through them and a lot of the kind of a lot of the stuff was extra large or XXL kind of stuff which is great to have because it seems like that stuff seems to sell better for me uh, more so than like a large uh, or small or I mean actually small is really good to have medium as well so I, I don't know really what I'm saying but it seems like XL and, and XXL seems to do better for me. But that being said, I had uh, uh, three Eddie Bauer t-shirts. Check these out. Nothing fancy about them, it's just an Eddie Bauer XL t-shirt. And I had actually had five of them, but I decided instead of selling these individually, I was going to lot them up. And so I had a white, uh, this really cool black, and then I had this really cool gray. And so I lotted these up, and I didn't have a lot of money on them. I think for all three of these shirts, I may have had 10 bucks, maybe a little bit more than that. Uh, but that person took those shirts. Now this is a, here's a shirt that I almost decided to keep for myself because I really liked it. And, um, but I decided, you know what, I, I'm not doing this to buy clothes for me. Actually, I have, I'll take that back. I bought clothes that I decided I was gonna sell and I ended up keeping them for myself, and I'm happy that I did. But this this was a really cool shirt. Actually, I'm, I'm gonna save that one for last. I'll go on to the next two shirts. Now, you guys may have seen this other shirt in a video before. Uh, this is a, I've sold all of these, so I ended up buying all these shirts. This brand is Jan. If I'm, I'm probably saying the name wrong, but I'm gonna put it up here and you can kinda see it. Jan Barnes, I'm gonna call it Jan Barnes. Maybe it's Jane, Jan, I don't know. But these are really cool shirts, man. These the, the material on these things are really nice and the colorway is really cool not necessarily the colorway but the style and you can see this all this kind of striping that's going on in there so I, I ended up buying three of these 
um, at a thrift store, and I think I bought them when they were half off, so I think I paid like two fifty or three dollars for each one of these, and I sold all of them. So this is a Bolo, a Bolo brand to, uh, to look out for because these seem to sell really well. Okay, so I originally paid seven, so three fifty is what I paid for them when I bought them all. Fabric woven in Japan, but anyway, um, so I sold this. She took that in a bundle. Also, this was a cool shirt that I picked up as well. I got this one on half off. This was shirt was originally five dollars and then um, I bought it when it was half off so I got it for two dollars and fifty cents I had this show this was a 88 um, an 88 so the, I don't know if it's made by affliction if it's part of afflictions brand or not but it's marketed as that but it, I, I bought it simply because of this big graphic on the back I knew ah. that I knew this would sell eventually so um, I purchased it and sold it and she bundled this and then here's a shirt that I didn't want to get rid of but I ended up listing it, and and I'm happy that I did because I, you know, I, I did sell it. It's a great, it's a great sell, and I'm happy to get the money for it. But it was an affliction shirt. I don't know if I made a video on this or not. It's in my Instagram. If you guys want to check out my Instagram, it's really cool. I, I, what I do with my Instagram is that once I sell stuff, I post what I purchased it for. I I post what I sold it for. I give my profit, and then I give my return on investment in that percentage. So that way you can kind of see. Um, if it's worth your time in uh, picking that item up, you know, maybe selling that item or, you know, going on, on down the line and not putting that in your cart. But this was a really cool shirt, man. I'm going to put it on, show you really quick. Man, I kind of wanted to keep this shirt because it, it fits me perfectly, bro. I'm telling you. It's a good shirt, man. I'm telling you. But anyway, look at that. That shirt is, look at that shirt, boy. That shirt is nice. I mean that this is the reason why I purchased it I mean obviously you have this big embroidered graphic right here on the left breast it's a double front pocket the buttons on here are like a type metallic type metal you know what I mean with really cool buttons on here double button uh, which is sometimes you see a triple button which kind of you can you can you know make the sleeves tighter but this wasn't that but, you know this shirt was super dope ended up selling it but I'm happy that you know I'd rather have money to continue growing this little small business that I've got you know then maybe I'll run across another one of these and I'll keep it but it had this another you know the striping in the back and anyway so I sell I say all of that to say this so I think all of these clothes together I think my if I would have sold them individually would have been around $75 so this person they root I don't want to say they lowballed me, but they just shot a number out there. I think it was like 30 bucks or 35 bucks or something like that. And I decided I will meet you halfway. So I think I, I went with $45 or yeah, about 45 bucks and they accepted the offer. So you know what? I'm not making a ton of money on these. I think like 10 bucks an item, you know, these, all those t-shirts were free. So, you know, $45 between these three shirts that I invested money into, I'm $250 here. I am, what, $350 here. So there's, what, seven bucks. You know what I mean? And then this one I did pay up for. I think I paid $7 for this. So let's call it, let's round it up, call it $15. So after everything's done, I think my profit on that was around $37. So. Yeah, you know, not a lot of money, but it's money. It's, I'm making some extra money. Uh, my time and effort put into listing it and whatnot, you have to amortize all that in, into your into your listing price. Um, I'm not making a whole lot of money, but I'm having a lot of fun, and that's what it's all about. I did actually get a couple more sales uh, through Poshmark this weekend. I sold these really cool pair of uh, Levi shorts. Now, these were actually mine that I bought a long time ago. They're, they're, they're not vintage per se. I mean, they have the zipper fly. Uh, but it is a Levi Strauss, you know, uh, Levi branded uh, short. Um, it's not made in USA. It was made in Egypt. These were 569s, not the 501s, the coveted 501s. But um, I think I sold these for like 20 bucks. You know what I mean? Not bad. And then I sold a really nice Burberry, uh, Burberry London uh, button down shirt. Um, I also wanted to keep that shirt too. I'm, I'm really getting I'm really getting bad at this because I'm fi I'm finding stuff that I really like and I don't want to sell it. But anyway, that's something I'm gonna have to get over. But I do appreciate you guys coming by and checking out this quick little video. I hope you had fun watching it. I hope that you uh, uh, got something out of it. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna try to post more videos uh, and more thrift videos. People seem to like 
those come with me while I thrift videos. I, I've got a lot of really cool stories that are close to me now. I'm gonna go check them out and I'm gonna make some videos. And uh, anyway, I appreciate you guys coming out. Have a good night, have a good day, whatever time you're watching this. Ciao.